happen? No, no, no. He doesn't need your counsel. That doesn't mean we don't cry out. That doesn't mean we don't plead. That doesn't mean we don't ask. It means we have to see him for who he is, the depths of his riches and his wisdom and his knowledge, and that he's inscrutable in his sovereign reign because he knows more than we could ever know and that it could be trusted that he is good. We know that in knowing he is working all things for our good and his glory. If you know that, you know there's no panic in the Godhead. So I, I need to address this because it's real life. Like some of you, really bad things have happened. And so when you hear a sermon like this and you've been abused or you hear a sermon like this and you got sick, you hear a, a sermon like this and something really dark happened to you and you're like, I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to understand that, Chandler. But I don't know, I don't know if I can believe that. Because if that's true, I'm trying to reconcile trying to reconcile in my head that this sovereign king is good and he allowed this. If you're telling me he could have stepped into space, if you're telling me he could have stopped this, if you're telling me that he is sovereign over all things, especially events in his wisdom and knowledge, I do have some scrutiny because what happened to me was terrible and I hadn't hardly recovered. I don't know that I ever will recover. I don't wanna take that from you because it is hard. We do live in a Genesis 3 world, but listen to me. God does not drive an ambulance. He does not show up after and try to put the pieces back together. God wounds us like a surgeon. And he can be trusted because we look to the cross of Christ and in looking at the cross of Christ, our confidence that he is for us and not against us grows as we know he's at work in the mess. In fact, the Bible is just one of the grittiest, nastiest books I've ever read. It's grotesque, and the reason why the Bible's filled with so much doubt and death and disease and brokenness is because God's trying to tell you, I'm at work in the mess. It's not that there won't be one, it's that I'm with you in it, and I'm redeeming and reconciling and working, and I have not abandoned you, and I'm not showing up late. I'm with you, I am for you. Look to the cross. The guy gave my life, bled out my blood, sent my son because I don't love you, because I'm cruel. No, I'm for you. I am not against you. I am with you.